Hi everybody, I'm Dan. And I'm Nicole. Welcome to Box of the Month. Hello. And uh, happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day, yeah. yes. And with that, we'll get to some wonderful trains. Ooh, that's pretty. There you are. Okay. Oh, okay. This is... This is an Intermountain Canadian Hopper, Grain Hopper and uh, Canadian Pacific CP That's Rail. Pretty. This one is actually equipped with uh, uh, one of those ring engineering uh, flashing rear end devices or Fred on it. Oh, oh, yeah, mm -hmm. the Hi, Fred. the modern caboose. That's mm -hmm. <laughs> You cannot stand on that and have a romantic moment as the train is going and be like, ah, oh, like no, that's not going to work. No. Yeah, Fred. Anyway. <laughs> I love how you pointed that out. <laughs> oh, it's Fred. It's Fred. Okay, there's another Intermountain Hopper. This one is... Georgia Kaolin, I guess that's how you pronounce that. Mm. Kaolin's a, a some kind of a like a slurry, I think, or something. I'm not sure what they. I'm not sure exactly what it's used for, but it's it's also hauled around in covered hoppers. Is that weathering that you've done already? Yeah, I did a All little right. weathering on this nice. car. So. Very anyway. cool. Yeah. All right. Next one is the British Columbia Railway. Ooh. Nice. There you go. It's another Intermountain. Looks like we got a lot of Intermountain Don't in this box. Oh, okay. No peeking. I noticed these, most of these have green dots on them, which means they've already been worked on. Oh, and a lot of them okay. are somewhat weathered. Yeah. This is also a covered hopper, kind of an unusual looking one in the British Columbia scheme. Hmm. I always like the British Columbia uh, green scheme. Now, is that where stuff came out at the bottom? Yeah, this is a, I think this is a pressure pressure unloaded hopper, so they use compressed air. That's what the, why it has the plumbing on the back, on the bottom. Oh, okay. Um, not sure exactly what these are used to haul, um, but anyway. Very great model. Kind of interesting is these, this one looks more like a tank car than a hopper, but it's actually a hopper. So. Oh, okay. Here's your next one, sir. Okay, and another Intermountain. This is a Burlington Northern uh, three Ooh. bay hopper. And the, just the very bare bones BN with just the basically reporting marks and data on it. This now one's is also. Is that green and black, or was it all green and then you. It's you weathered. Know, it's weathered, okay. Yeah, it's got a little. Yeah. A little heavy with the black on the top, but you know. It, was it looks nice. I like it. Yeah. All right. Oh, this way. Oh, yeah. CNW. Okay. Another, another Inner Mountain. Oh. This is. Whoa. Oh, hey now. One I almost just broke. No train <laughs> abuse. Um. This is a Chicago Northwestern uh, hopper that uh, was a former Rock Island hopper. So it's been... That is such a pretty blue. It's like ice blue. Yeah, I think this is supposed to be a little... It's a little bit lighter than the Rock Island blue, so I think it's supposed to be faded. Oh. And then it's got these um, patched out areas where they painted over the old road name and then stenciled in CNW. Oh. So I oh. thought it was kind of interesting. Oh, that is really nifty. Yeah. All right, here's another CNW as well. Yeah, it's basically the same type of car, but a very different paint job. It's a CNW Ooh. green. I like that. That's pretty. Yeah. Nice. Uh -huh. I can just imagine myself hanging out on the you know, <laughs> railways, calling okay. in the trains at night. 
<laughs> not like they're cows, people. I'm not that silly. I mean, I know I'm silly, but you know, I've seen them doing that at the With stations. The radio. Yeah, yeah, where the guy's like hanging onto the back of the train and he's calling in the things and they're turning all the little switches for the night. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I really like dusk when everything is just kind of winding down. Yeah, that's a cool time of yeah. time of day. Another Chicago Northwestern, this one in yellow. Ooh, yellow. Uh, again, nice. I think it's the same car, just a different paint job. Okay, all right. Ooh, Sasas Sasas. Oh my goodness, I can't say it now. Saskatchewan. No, nope, I can't say it. Thank you. I cannot say it. Another Canadian car. I. I think I used to be able to say that word, so I'm not really sure what's wrong with me. Yeah, this is, um, uh, Canadian railroads had a bunch of these uh, hoppers, and uh, some of them were um, basically Canadian National or Canadian Pacific, and then other, other ones were uh, owned by some of the provinces. Hmm, so I okay. think Saskatchewan had one, and I think I have some Alberta cars too somewhere. I don't know if I have any in this box, but... Um, Neat. We have a whole theme going on here. Look at this little guy. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. I just am so afraid to break him. Okay. I just can't. One of these days, I'm just too afraid. Yeah, a lot of these old foam boxes have a little hole in the back to help you push the car out. Oh, I see. Knowing the technique is also really yeah. good. And another Chicago Northwestern. This is a little short hopper, like a cement car or something. It's so cute. <laughs> a little tiny. And we got this car right here. Okay, this is another Canadian car. There's a lot of Canadian cars in here. Yeah, this in is this the, particular box. I mean. Yeah. Did you do I, a Canadian layout? I, no, but I actually have enough of these Canadian cars to have like a twenty-five or six-car Canadian grain train. Ooh. So, so like it could be coming down from something to bring green into the USA. Yeah, something. I don't yeah. I don't know how common that was, but um I di I have seen these cars um on uh with some of the grain elevators in the Central Valley in California. Okay. So I I know that at least once in a while they make it down here. Um All right. this one's a Canadian wheat board in a sort of yellow and sort of funny orange scheme. Rusk. Yeah. <laughs> Rusk scheme, yeah. Not, not sure what color to call that, um, but anyway. Uh, I'll just leave it like that for now. Yes. Keep the train safe. Okay, here's another. Here's another one of these hoppers. It's kind of the same kind as the British Columbia one we saw a little while ago, but this one is Canadian National. Okay. Yeah, this is like the Canadian box. Yeah, partly anyway. I, yeah. I, I do have I do have quite a few of those Canadian cars. I don't think they're all in this one box, but no, there's definitely not 25 in this box. Yeah, for sure. And we move on to something different, Burlington Northern. Okay, this is this is like the all Ender Mountain box too. It looks like, or mostly. Yes, anyway. no, all completely all. All, <laughs> all okay. Mountain box. Another Burlington Northern car. This one with the BN logo on it. Yeah. This plastic has started to yellow. You can tell these are Ooh. old. <laughs> Intermountain was one of the first brands to come out with like the really high, highly detailed cars. Oh, okay. That kind of has become more normal now. All right. But, um, I saved your favorite for the last. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a Santa Fe car, which is, I think, basically also the same model as this. Some of those uh, CMW cars we saw earlier. Oh, super yellow! And last but not least, this Southern Pacific. Why does it have? Uh, why? why? Okay, why this was. 
I have very few cars with, with graffiti on them because I really don't like graffiti that much. But um, this is one I did as a, a weathering experiment, I think. So <laughs> it's a Southern Pacific. Uh, with graffiti tagged, on it. <laughs> tagged up car. A tagged yeah. up car. So, yeah. That picture will definitely be next. Oh. Yeah. And we're getting kitty bombed. Hi, my little so. Benny. Yeah, you're not going to see a lot of graffiti cars on my on my layout, up? but I guess there might be one or two. Did you just wake <laughs> up? Oh, my. <laughs> well, that was the last car, so thankfully, Kitty Bomb right at the end. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Checking it out. Oh, oh, just as long as he tiptoes through. And yeah, there he goes. He's being very careful. Yes, good kitty. <laughs> I All give right. it a 10. 10 out of 10. Uh, <clears throat> oh, anyway, no. I, so yeah, that's it that's for it? this month's box of the month. All right. Yeah. So there's another box. <laughs> another so box down. Haven't quite Daniel, run out of them yet. I was just gonna ask. We haven't ran out of them yet. How long have we been doing the box of the month? Oh, at least two or three years. I don't Let's know. See. So. It's a long but, time, right? Yeah, I, I'm having to dig harder though to find ones that don't have. I put a little orange sticker on the box after we've done it. So I'm, it's harder to find ones without an orange sticker. Now. Okay. <laughs> That's why I think last time I said we might be getting low on boxes. Okay. But, All right. But not yet. We're still. Not yet. Yeah. <laughs> still going strong, guys. Got, it, got some more for a while. So. All right. Anyway, so I guess that's it for this month. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure you like, guys. Uh, Put your yes. comments down below. Yes. We appreciate that always. Uh, yes. Subscribers too. So, yes. Um, anyway, and yeah. uh, until thanks. next time. Until next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, everyone.